3v3 faction war. This is Judgment of Carrion and Tyranids vs Space Marines Game 1. First up for the Tyranids we've got Torpid plays a Lictor Alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt with some great offense and a little bit of support. Alongside we've got Eerie as a Ravana Alpha tunneling commander great mobility good offense too starts in ranged combat and rounding off the Tyranid team is X-Ray Dog with a big stompy hive tyrant very durable commander that walks through cover and cannot be suppressed great offense disruption and support starts with a basic synapse for the red team first up is Adila as a force commander great offense can also tank disrupt and support with buffs very versatile commander fights in melee combat alongside is Dark Riku's apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura scouts forced off there and rounded out the space marine team is phantom land as a tech marine starts out range combat some good dps can also support with structures and repairs can deal with vehicles very nicely here we go then space marines versus tyranids historically over the over all the faction wars i've done over the last 18 months or so has been a pretty difficult matchup for space marines Tactical Marines here staying in melee combat for Dark Riku. Can they wipe out these Hormagons? Very nearly did. And they get well get away without a loss. Look at that. Those guys tanked 900 damage and didn't lose a model. That's tactical marines for you. Double termigants for all three tuned players. What can we expect then? Expect, as you can see here, look at the map. A lot of pressure early on from the Tyranids. The Space Marines will begin to recover towards the end of Tier 1 and into Tier 2. But they've got to kind of balance that recovery with preparing themselves for monstrous creatures in Tier 3. Because it's very, very difficult to out-tech Tyranids as Space Marines. Unless you specifically try to kind of skip Tier 2, which is very dangerous versus Tyranids, I think. 498, triple four. But let's see what happens. Let's not jump the gun here. Shotgun scouts gonna shotgun blast those Hormogons, are they? No. Apparently not. There they go. Shotgun blast in the Termigants. Hormogons are forced off nicely. That's good play for Medilla. Still under a lot of pressure though. And his VP has been captured by the Hive Tyrant. Who needs to be careful. There he goes. Look at this pressure. Ritual all the way back to his power. Adila all the way back to his VP. And Phantom Land all the way back to his power as well. Killed a bunch of Termigants though. Warrior Brood on the field for all of the Tyranid players. Heavy infantry that start off as a power melee unit can leap into combat passively, so give you that awesome passive disruption that you don't need to micro and provide a basic synapse for these Tyranids, which is important, I think, early on for Raven Alpha and Lictor Alpha, who don't provide a synapse themselves. Riku pulling back, waiting for his Assault Marines there to come into play. Raven Alpha took a lot of damage there. Adila going straight into Assault Marines. Also have Assault Marines from Riku and Phantom Land has Devastators. I think a 1-1-1 opening for Space Marines is the best choice versus Tyranids in a 3v3. Especially on quite a laned map like Judgment of Tyranids. It's quite a wide map as well. So for example, very difficult for the Western player to support the Eastern player and do triples. But you can do doubles quite nicely, which might make the difference here. Timing your doubles, supporting your teammate is going to be important on Judgment of Carrion. As Salt Marines getting away without a model loss again. Bit of luck, bit of very good judgment by Riku early on with his Tactical Marines and his Assault Marines. This Apothecary is going to need to run away. There we go. Here come Shotgun Scouts and Tactical Marines. Phantom Land still having to deal with pressure on his power. He has his Devastators who are moving around. He's capped that Contested Power. Also a Contested Power on the west side. It's a symmetrical map. Natural here for Odilla's being decapped again. Force Commander all alone, disrupting and dealing with an entire Tyranid army. Where's the rest of his stuff? Yeah, I think waiting for this Assault Marine squad really put him under pressure. Maybe double scouts would actually be good versus Tyranids. Get some double shotguns around. Maybe even double grenades to try and spike some damage as well. Easier said than done, of course. Here comes that Hive Tyrant. Is he going to get... Yes, Extended Carapace on the way. Such an awesome war gear choice. And these Devastators has Vengeance Rounds. 
that could be very powerful versus these warriors as they get close. 498, 248. Phantom Land is putting a turret on the east side, Tarantula turret, and that is in a very spiteful position. Torpid is decapping with his Lictor Alpha though, and takes down the generators again. Riku trying to push through mid. Devastator is firing away, and he has gone for 111, as has Adila. Phantom Land spending his power on that turret though. Will it pay off? Here come Hormagaunts, we'll see if it pays off. And it looks like Torpid has not noticed this, he's going to lose his squad. He was trying to flank with them and down they go, ouch. So already done a very good job for Phantom Land. Tecmo needs to run, there we go. Devastators are set up but it's Lictor Alpha is infiltrated and will just run into them, he needs. Sergeant Scouts, he does have them as well, they're coming out of base here with shotguns also. 489216 the Lictor Alpha can really terrorize Space Marines early on. Are we going to see a melee tech marine to try and stand up against that with his refractor field to stop him getting thrown around by those flesh hooks? 480216. There you see a tunnel, and Riku is pushing through. He's capped the central victory point, decapping this wreck point. Thought about going off the power, but now. Eerie's back on the field and it's tier 2 for Torpid and Eerie. Adila has his VP but it's forced off and that looks like was that a Rendon Talon Seismic Roy? It was 467216 and now he's getting his VP decapped again. As Devastators hard countered by that wow by that high of time. Lictor Alpha goes down trying to sneak up on the Tarantula turret. And they have a full gen farm here. Phantom Land taking back his natural. Some good play from him. Tarantula turret doing its job. Now has a full gen farm here and is reinforcing this area with Devastators. That's going to be incredibly annoying. We might see Torpid go straight for a Tyrant Guard to run into that and smack it up. Looks like he's coming mid for the double. Riku needs to be careful here. Tyranid doubles can be devastating. Second only I think to... Eldar doubles in their swiftness, swiftness of death. We have Barb Strangler Warriors, great suppression weapon. We have an Alpha Warrior Brood, and it's going to overwhelm this Devastator here. No need for a specific hard setup team counter when you have this much stuff. Just run into it, it can't shoot everything. Nice shotgun blast by the scouts. Devastators still lose a model though, and that is nasty. Riku not recognizing the threat quite quickly enough tried to keep his devastators in play to try and control it and this is x-ray dog putting up a brood nest to support his teammates nicely done we have a power sword force commander he can go into this warrior brood try and take out models will come a lot harder though if they get adrenal glands which takes them up to 1575 hit points which is not too shabby on a three-man squad a three model squad even Devastators of Phantom Land have been suppressed, but now they're firing, taking a lot of damage though from the flank, forcing off the Lictor Alpha. Ouch, that was painful. No war gear for the Tech Marine. And his scouts get absolutely owned. What's that? That's double zone throats from Eerie. This is nasty. 427216. You see the Space Marines though starting to creep it back into this game. End of tier 1 and now beginning of tier 2. They still have this full power with Tarantula turret guarding it. In fact, they have three full power farms, which could be telling. They could all get a Dreadnought, perhaps. 417216. Beautiful grenade from Adila. I think that was five models taken out. Tyrant Guard on the field for X. He's lost his Hormagaunts and took a lot of losses on the rest of his stuff. High of Tyrant hasn't got a lot of XP. How's the Force Commander doing? He's nearly level three, this guy. Done well. Now back bashing power. Well, here's the Tyrant Guard, this is going to be a pain in the ass. He has Flamer Tactical Marines. We could swap them to a Plasma Gun to get some nice DPS on this Super Heavy Infantry Tyrant Guard. Doing a decent job so far, going after it with that Power Sword for that Splash Damage Heavy Melee. While wow, just tearing apart those Assault Marines. So what are the Tactical Marines up to? I think they were trying to get a sneaky bash in. And here comes Eerie with the assist. The Dylan needs to run away. Runs away the Force Commander. Trying to get some damage on with that Flamer. 
but needs to full retreat and those tactical marines were knocked down before they retreated so might lose a model devastator is covering the retreat path but might just get charged here there is the charge knocking down allied units as well and he gets away okay kicking off on the east side look at this two devastators this is riku and phantom land going up against torpede is gonna lose this tyrant guard the tech marine has gone for the melter gun not the plasma gun which is what i was expecting and the signum armor which takes down that tyrant guard signum armor works so well with well all of his weapons obviously but it helps negate the weakness of the melter gun which is its short range and buffs that damage of course 402175 good engagement really good engagement on the east side torpid lost a lot there now has termigants and warriors but was it enough they still have this huge vp deficit to make up a double cap for blue haven't seen that many Pillory Towers, it's really not in your interest to spam them now because you're going to feed your opponent so much XP when they destroy them. And you really don't want to get Space Marines free XP. There is one of the Capillary Towers. 402141, 2 to 1 cap. But now the Devastators get absolutely owned, but they do get away just about. And Adila struggling to keep X ray at bay despite getting some losses on him. Tyrant Guard really screwing him up, but he now has a Thunder Hammer. Very nearly level 3. It's a powerful power melee weapon with great disruption. 402126. Trying to go after the Warrior Brood models, but his Iron Halo has now run out of energy and needs to run away. There's disruption. Might go down if he's not careful. The Hive trying to switch to the Crushing Claw. Which is not what Adila wants to see, so. Going for a Dreadnought now is a lot more of a risk than it would have been. Here we do see a Dreadnought though from Dark Riku. Licked Alpha being annoying in mid. A Walker vehicle with two close combat weapons. Lots of great disruption from this thing with Emperor's Fist. Has a wrist mounted flamer and heavy melee splash. Not to mention awesome inspiration buffs. Which is what Space Marines are all about once you start going into tier 2 and onwards. 40291. Get that stacking inspiration. Salt Marines in retreat, almost level 2. They do have Thunder and Lightning to combat the Tyrant Guard. And we still do have a Tyrant Guard on the field from X. And this thing can level, and when it levels, it goes well over 3,000 hit points of Super Heavy Infantry armor and can be a real pain in the ass to deal with. 40255. This thing has increased speed. As long as it's under Synapse, which is why it works so well with the High of Tyrant. That Synapse always there as long as he's on the field and the High of Tyrant eventually levels the two. He must be level three now, the force one is still not level three. Here comes some gene stealers from X. Incredibly painful melee unit. And they will be under melee synapse. The Warrior Brood is forced off at the moment though. Kicking off mid. Riku trying to force off this stuff so he can cap. 40213, but there's the double. Tyranids look like they're going to take the first game quite handily here. Space Marines just couldn't recover from that pressure. Adila under a lot of it here. I mean, on a linear lane like this, the High of Tyrant is so powerful, he could just dominate it with his bulk, especially with the bonded exoskeleton and extended carapace in tier 1 very difficult to deal with and the force commander can do well with his thunder hammer usually but this tyrant guard really screwed him over just couldn't deal with it we did have a dreadnought on the way for a dealer riku had devastators looks like he lost his scouts looks like commanders apothecary was still level one not sure if he had any war gear tech marine level three did well with signum and melter gun Licked Alpha with feeder tendrils, which are awesome, and the deadly jump, which is also pretty awesome. Raven Alpha level 3, no war gear, and that high of time, of course, causing all sorts of problems here on the west side. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. 1 0 in the series for the Tyranids, and I will see you in the next one.